know someone who's on the road to destruction, even self-destruction? When we look around the world, perhaps even in our own circle of colleagues, friends, and family, drug overdoses and suicide have risen to horrifying levels. There is a spirit of evil that moves around the world like a thief to kill, steal, and destroy. Studies by medical experts and scientists do not seem to provide an answer, though intervention by the medical community and even law enforcement can often buy the time to allow us to help them find the real answer. The real answer is to help people find a life that's worth living, a life of love and acceptance, a life that brings wisdom and gives hope of eternal life. The ultimate answer is a new life in Jesus Christ, which Jesus offers to everyone. Jesus said, I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. Jesus gave his life on the cross to pay the price for our sin and to defeat death. Then he rose from the dead to demonstrate that death was powerless before him and to show what we could have for eternity. What can we do to provide the real answer to the wave of self-destruction that we see in the world? First, come to know the love of Jesus Christ. It is impossible to give away something we do not have. The love of God comes through as Christ dwells within us. Additionally, God will give wisdom to his children who seek it. Second, be bold in your love. Be an ace putting God's love in action. To be an ace is to prayerfully ask, care, and escort. If you see someone you think exhibits suicidal or self-destructive behavior, directly and honestly question whether he or she is suicidal or in trouble. Care for them and then escort them to a source of professional help. In an extreme case, even call 911, as that may be the difference between life and death. Third, follow up. Show love that goes beyond the immediate crisis and prayerfully look to the opportunities to share the gospel, to free the despondent from the stairs of death. You should also look to have the assistance of professional counselors which are available through a number of venues and sources. If we can help connect you to those resources, please write us or visit our website. May the Lord bless you as you lovingly shed the light into a world that is covered in darkness. Mm -hmm.